Okay, so one of the things that I often like to talk about is critics. And um, critics is a huge thing because no matter, I found that no matter what I did, I always had critics. Okay, whether it was I did fitness, you know, there's this whole thing now where there's fit shaming, you know, where you can actually uh, shame somebody for being fit and taking care of themselves. Right, so I did that for a while. I then, you know, I um, transitioned, I opened up my ideas, showing my philosophy, and of course, uh, showing that I wanted to grow and improve myself in my way of thinking and stuff like that. There's also critics for that. All of a sudden, I transitioned and I was taking what I was thinking and I wanted to write. So even when I went into, say, writing novels, actually that's something I aspire to do is I want to write novels you know I got criticized for that you know and um, and now I'm doing YouTube right and I'm filming my family and stuff like that right and guess what I also again got criticized for that so <clears throat> you know there's nothing really that you can do that you're not gonna get criticized for so that's one thing to keep in mind is that we will always get criticized. Criticized, there's always going to be two sides. Um, you know, there will be uh, the few that are, will be rooting for you, and there's, there's the few that will not be rooting for you, criticizing you, and there's actually even the few that actually want you to fail. So that's something that we have to keep in mind that that's actually just the natural dynamics of things, and we actually just have to just focus on that specific thing that we're actually just trying to work towards right so like nonetheless you know fitness is for me now right so I'm still gonna be fit regardless of what people tell me to do I still am gonna be writing those books that I want to write and guess what you know like there's nothing wrong with the things I'm putting on YouTube because it's just me filming my family right but and yet there's criticism for that but the point is this and the Stoics would say, you know, like, um, did you do anything wrong, right? When, when criticism comes to you, did you do anything wrong? Then if you did not do anything wrong, then what is there to feel bad about, right? So there's always going to be people criticizing what we do, but if we didn't do anything wrong, like there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to be fit and inspired. In encouraging and inspiring fitness or there's nothing really wrong with saying hey I want to write a book or to say hey I'm going to film happy memories with my family um, at any point in time for somebody to say uh, a negative opinion about that there's nothing really that is wrong about that so again it goes right back to the question are you doing anything wrong Right, so that's one way to really uh, realize that, you know, the crystal matter. And I know it's one of the hardest things because we are social creatures and we rely so much on feedback. But at some point, the feedback uh, has to be our own feedback as opposed to the worldly feedback. Um, because I like to actually talk about entrepreneurship and, you know, personal growth. And I talk a lot about this with a lot of people. And I find a lot of people don't want to move from where they are it's because of this fear of criticism you know a lot of times I've had um, people say I didn't want to do this because it feels weird but why does it feel weird it feels it only feels weird because you're thinking about other people's judgment to the thing that you're doing so if you remove that you know like and, I, and I'm not an exception you know now that I'm YouTubing I pull out a camera I literally have like two cameras everywhere I go uh, for you know 90% of the time and I'll whip up my camera anytime anywhere and you know a lot of times people that uh, you know um, Want to do these do YouTubing and they're you know, they're pointing out the camera. They're feeling awkward You know, there's somebody coming. Okay, you know, I don't want to be talking to myself in in a camera because it, it seems weird Yeah, I felt that a little bit in the beginning, but you know, it's because I'm concerned about what people are thinking once you eliminate that and understand that the criticism is going to happen anyways and you do the thing that you need to do anyways, you know, the thing that brings you enjoyment, the thing that brings you happiness and what you're doing 
and realize that that's the one and only thing that matters. And I, and I emphasize this a lot as a rete. And, um, you know, it's just being excellent at, at the things that you wish to be talented at or maybe your natural, natural abilities, your natural talents. Right. So, um, so yeah, I mean, one thing we have to expect is criticism. That's almost 100% guaranteed um, in what you're doing, especially in the beginning phases. Is from what I'm here, I hear, I'm not there yet. But I, you know, I read a lot of um, uh, biographies, a lot of uh, you know um, the tales of these people that have made it. They say, you know, once you get there, you're gonna have more than enough people that wanna you know, hitch along, right? Even the people that were, were, were naysaying in the beginning, you know what I mean? So, and uh, yeah, you know, like you, right in the beginning though, it's, you get a lot of it. And then I believe, I hate to say it, but you get a lot of, of uh, fake friends uh, once you've already made it, you know what I mean? So, you don't need to uh, worry about that. The critics will always be there and the, you know the people that have made it and fell again and have made remade it have found the same things you know like the people that were critics were no longer critics until you weren't there anymore um, you know prime example you know when I had a business a lot of people were coming and they you know they thought I was doing well they showed up um, you know they they wanted to uh, hang out and see what's going on and then uh, when I lost my business the first time uh, where are they now you know and that's a, that's a that's a big story you know that that reminds me that it's not about the people's opinion it's about continuing to do what you do you can't base your actions on doing things um, according to the responses of people you just need to act on your own accord and do what's right and if you're not doing anything wrong then there's nothing to feel bad about there's all you got to do is continue doing what you're doing and that's it there you go, guys.